guys okay are you surprised you should be <laughs> I haven't been around in a while I apologize for you know the lack of mascara Mondays I know you guys were crying yourselves to sleep over it but never fear I am back and as per usual um, you know nothing has changed I still cannot get into my packages um, and it I'm still you know not being prepared so, you know, at least you can come back to something that's comforting and familiar, you know. Ha ha ha. I did it. Okay, so today for Mascara Monday, we have the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Fake Out Mascara with Silk Cotton False Lash, False Lash Effect and Natural Fibers in the shade Black. Oh, can you see that? Okay. So this came out with all their other organic wear items. <clears throat> and I, I don't know. I'm, they've had organic wear and, um, excuse me, natural products in the past, Physicians Formula has. And they always come up with these kind of tubes. Um, I'm just not a big fan of this. It just seems kind of silly to me. Just give me a normal tube. But um, that's just me. So let's take a look at this. Okay, that's like the fattest brush ever. Um, this looks pretty similar to their organic um, mascaras that they've had in the past, which I have tried in the past a way long time ago. And they were okay. Um, I knew some of the uh, beauty channels talked about how amazing the... Sir, I can't remember which one, but I just remember one of them was like the most amazing mascara they've ever worn, ever. They kept going back to it. Um, for me, they were just okay. So let's get this on. Okay, so I don't see any fibers, and the formula is really wanting to stick my lashes all together, which I do not like. Not separating them at all, it's turning them into very spiky lashes. So, um, as a first impression, just right now, um, this is not going well. I don't see any fibers. And I don't know if you can see, but like they're all wanting to stick together. And then the more you try to separate them, the more they are sticking together. And then a lot of the product is just clumping up. So yeah, um, as the first impression, it's it's looking really natural. They're not looking like very bold lashes. I I do like the way it's looking on my lower lashes. That's looking a lot better than the than the uppers. But I do have already looks like a yeah that looks like a little fiber that came down as is stuck on my. Skin. I don't think it is though actually. It looks like a little lash fiber but I think it might have just been one of my lashes touched my skin and it transferred so yeah because it's smearing off now. All right. Okay so um, one of the problems that I had with a lot of the um, <clears throat> Physicians Formula organic wear mascaras in the past was that they never set, like they would always be wet or tacky. And uh, you can see it's, it's wanting to, to, um, I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, forget it. It's, it's wanting to transfer onto my finger. So I feel like uh, by now, any other mascara that I have tried, unless it wasn't gonna set at all, would already be set by now. It would already be dry and it wouldn't be transferring and all that. So what I'm gonna do is re-dip the little wand, make sure we're good and coated, but then I'm also gonna wipe a lot of it off, a lot of the product off. And as you guys know, I do this often because I find that most mascaras just put too much product on the brush 
and it just gums my lashes up. It doesn't usually ever do anything to help them. So let's try this side. And the wand, the head of the wand is really fat. So it's, I have a feeling that, oh, you see all that gunk? I have a feeling it's going to be a lot easier to to get the um, product on your skin because the wand is so big and fat and unwieldy. Um, if you want just long and like spiky looking lashes, you might like this. But again, I will update in the description or comments or whatever I get a chance whether or not this actually sets down or if it smears and, and is tacky and sticky for the rest of the day. Um, yeah, uh, they're not terrible. It's just not my favorite. <clears throat> and I tried to apply a little bit more to see if the brush would start to separate this to see if it would feel like it's um, drying down, setting down, and it doesn't seem like it is. So, um, But I will update in the description whether or not that happens. So thank you guys so much for watching. Here's a pretty good look. Um, I'm going to take one more look myself. I'm not smudging or transferring yet, but I can still feel like the product is still wet so um it's not dried yet so that's going to be something to think about and consider and again i'll update but uh all right that's all we got for today let me let you know how much this was it was eight dollars so my eyelashes are wanting to stick from top to bottom so all right um my favorite mascara uh to date has been the colossal big shot from maybelline a really close second is the uh, Revlon So Fierce Mascara. That's a good one. I've been using that a lot. I haven't used the the um, Maybelline one in a long time. So, And then my favorite high-end mascara is the Bare Minerals uh, Defining? No, it's something. I can't think of it. I'll try and put it in the description if I remember. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.